And the college football playoff rankings are here. Yes, the first initial ones of 2023. And uh, there's a shock here, guys. A couple shockers, especially with Ohio State being at number one. Where's Oklahoma? We're going to give into it. We're going to dive into it. But before we do that, I want to hear from y'all. I want to hear what your thoughts are. So join the discussion. Jump in the comments below. Let me know what y'all's thoughts are. Do you agree with Ohio State being the number one team in the country? Additionally, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like and hit that subscribe button. All right. Let's talk about it, guys. So Ohio State, they're number one above Georgia. Georgia is the two-time national champions, defending national champions, and you take them out of the first place spot? What the hell is wrong with this committee? But we'll talk about this here in a second because Oklahoma was ranked number nine. Number nine, okay? They stay in the top 10. They lose to Kansas the week before. Kansas jumps up to number 21 in the rankings. 21. The committee obviously thinks Kansas is no a noteworthy team. Oklahoma State, Kansas State, 22 and 23. You've then you followed up by Air Force, 8 and 0 Air Force at number 25. So I look at these rankings and I kind of scratch my head a little bit because I said, is Ohio State better than Michigan? Like we've watched Ohio State lose twice in a row to Michigan. And although Michigan's got this cheating scandal, they're still one of the best teams in the country. Not to mention, you just threw Georgia out of the number one spot when they're the two-time defending national champions. What the hell is wrong with the college football playoff committee? I don't care if this is a what-have-you-done-for-me-lately poll. Georgia has won this freaking national championship twice, and they haven't lost. How are you going to take them from the number one spot and pull them down to two. These people need to get their heads out of their rear ends because this is not how a two-time defending national champion should be treated. And I'm a freaking Oklahoma fan. I'm not even a Georgia fan, and I'm pissed off about it. But here we go. Texas above Oklahoma. Explain this one to me. If head-to-head -head matchups matter so much, then why is Texas above Oklahoma? You obviously valued Texas beating Bama. So why is Oklahoma behind Texas? Explain it to me. Help me make it make sense. Every year, we question the college football playoff committee and these rankings that they have. Because they tell us this is the format. Well, you have an 8-0 Air Force at number 25. 25. You couldn't even put them in the top 15. I don't give a rat's rear end whether you think they can beat any of the 15 teams behind them. The fact that they are 8-0 and and they've won their playoff games, they've played the teams on their schedule, you can't, you can't discredit what a team's doing because they're having to play the teams that are in front of them. It just doesn't make sense to me. Missouri comes in at number 12. That means we're getting number two versus number 12 this weekend in the Georgia matchup, which I told you guys, Missouri could end up upsetting Georgia. Mizzou might have a path to the freaking playoffs if they beat Georgia. Let's just put it out there. Oklahoma definitely has a path coming in at number nine. This is usually where you see Oklahoma at before they take a four seed at the end of the season after they win a Big 12 championship. But you've got four. Power five conferences representing the top five that are undefeated. You got five total undefeated teams in the top five. Honestly, in my opinions, I would have put the rankings, Georgia, Michigan, Florida State, Ohio State. I don't think Ohio State's that good. This committee is on the nutsack of Ryan Day right now. But Texas over Alabama makes sense. Texas won that game. Oklahoma at nine behind Texas, who's at seven? Come on. College football committee, we got to do better. You can't tell us the standard to ranking these teams and then not follow your own standard. 
Now, I look up and down the board, USC at number 20. Obviously, the college football playoff committee, they haven't been watching how USC's been playing. I don't think USC's top five, top 25 team. I think they'd lose to Air Force. I think they're that bad. They lost to Tulane last year. So what makes me think they could beat Tulane this year? If you're telling me if Lincoln Riley matched up with Kansas State, he's beating Kansas State because he couldn't do it at Oklahoma. He lost to Oklahoma State his last year. And Oklahoma State's got a better running game this year. Kansas just beat a Oklahoma team that has one of the better defenses in the country. So, Tennessee at 17, too high. Uh, Utah, that's about right. That's about where I'd put them. Notre Dame, about right. LSU, about right. Um, I do agree with all the one-loss teams kind of being in that, the, the, the range all the way up to 14. I mean, two lanes at 24, whatever. Air Force being at 25, you guys know I don't agree with that. Yeah, this is how I feel. These rankings absolutely suck. So in hindsight, I look at the college football rankings, and I see the teams that have a path to the playoff with one loss. Obviously, I've told you guys on multiple shows, I think Oregon's better than Washington. So I expect, I expect Washington to fall out of these rankings. Now, Florida State, can they stay undefeated? But Michigan and Ohio State are going to cannibalize each other. You're going to have one spot open for a one-loss team. Whether that is another Big Ten team, whether it's an SEC team, or whether it's a Texas or an Oklahoma, those are the teams I think you look at and go, a one-loss team is going to make it in. Oregon, they'll be a one-loss team at a conference champion because I'm already predicting it. Oregon's going to win this thing. They're going to the playoffs. They'll be at least number three. Oklahoma, they have a clear-cut, defined path. You win out. You win the games the way you're supposed to. You win by 30-plus points. You beat either Kansas State or Texas in the Big 12 championship game. You're right there. You're right there. Texas, same thing. You went out. You win the way you're supposed to. You beat Oklahoma. You're right there. Alabama, you beat Georgia. This is the question. With them ranking Georgia at number two, if Alabama beats Georgia, could Georgia still make the playoffs? That's the that's the mark I'm curious to see. Because if Georgia was one, Bama beats them. I think Georgia falls to four. Bama falls in. There you go. Two SEC teams in. Once again, Bama and Georgia are in the playoffs. But guys, I want to hear you. I want to hear what y'all's thoughts are because, hey, like Georgia and Michigan, Washington has major matchups coming and their strength of schedule. And Florida State, they might have one of the easier paths at this point. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly what teams can keep this spot. How often are we going to see these rankings change week by week? Remember, guys, jump down in the comments. Join the discussion if you haven't already. Hit that like and hit that subscribe button.